This is Rich Templin, Legislative and Political Director for the Florida AFL-CIO, and here is the latest session update video. It was week three in the Florida Legislature, and with anti-worker legislation flying through the Capitol, frustration was running high in the House Education Committee as legislators debated the so-called Parent Trigger Bill, another attempt to privatize Florida's public schools. Parents and teachers from across the state came to voice their opposition to the bill. This bill, however, puts forward charter schools as a solution despite zero evidence of performance by charters. The proposed measure will turn over ownership of public school buildings and resources for profit companies, even if they fail to deliver results. Quite frankly, I don't want my children or my students put up for auction and I oppose this bill. I do have a question. Does the parent empowerment bill apply to parents at charter schools as well as our traditional public schools? I can answer that for you. They can leave. I'm sorry? They can leave. So we're giving the power. We oppose this bill, sir. Thank, Thank you. With the looming pension attack to be voted on the House floor later in the week, Police and firefighters were present to voice their opposition to bills in the Senate that also attacked the retirement security of Florida's public sector workers. It is important that if we are going to default employees into a plan that is less efficient and less secure pension that we have all the data needed to make an intelligent decision. Everyone has made statements that this will not have an impact on those that are already in the plan. When, when I was a, uh, a young Marine, I was told that if I served my country and I did X, Y, and Z, when I left, I would get X, Y, and Z. Uh, after I left, I, I chose a career in law enforcement. And the same, when I came to law enforcement, I was told that if I served my community for X, Y, in time, certain amount of time, and after, and in 2011, after 15 years, that script was turned. The numbers on the outside of the cone are fictitious numbers that have just been picked, and the, the most accurate will be the, uh, the actual evaluation that's done on the actual history and the performance of the funds that are in the, in the, uh, in the account. So for those reasons, we, would, uh, we oppose the bill and would ask that you vote no on it. Thank you. Florida Retirement System Pension is considered a national model and one of the best funded plans in the country. The FRS pension issue is more of a manufactured crisis than a real one. The big business lobby was out in force as they continue their attacks on local control, banning local governments from enacting pro-working family ordinances, dealing with living wages, wage theft, and other important issues. This week it was all about stopping local earned sick time policies that would enable workers to see a doctor when they are sick or care for sick family members without losing their jobs. The preemption of local earned sick time leave policies got emotional as workers shared their stories. I couldn't risk my job so I had no choice and I went into work the next morning. I remained sick for weeks. This is why I got involved with the earned sick time campaign in Orange County because I know firsthand what 46% of Orange County workers face every single day. They have to choose between their job and their health and that's a choice that no family should ever have to make. The big story of week three is the showdown between House Republicans and Democrats over the radical proposal to close the Florida Retirement System pension plan and force all new teachers, firefighters, police officers and other public employees into risky Wall Street investment plans. We speak in the state of Florida about bringing quality teachers, firefighters, police officers to the great state of Florida. I don't believe that passing House Bill 7011 is the right way to go. We are forcing new hires into a 401k style investment plan which will leave employees subject to an unstable economy. How do, we, how do I tell my uh, 20,000 plus state employees that I represent that this is going to be better for them? I help craft investment policies, asset allocations, and I know and am an expert considered to know what pension funds are. I say all of that because everything that I heard you say up here in the front rows is totally inaccurate. These boogeyman tactics of calling out that the taxpayers are going to somehow save money by this pension reform, what I consider is the death of a pension fund, because you're killing it, is absolutely false. There may be a slight reprieve next week due to the Passover and Easter holidays, but the Florida AFL-CIO will remain vigilant while the legislators are here for the short week. 
There will be lots of in-district field activities next week during the break, so keep an eye out for legislative alerts and other action items. Solidarity.